Hey everybody, if you didn't already know, it's Dr. Love Beats, drummer of LOZ, Lions of Zion, and director of this film. This film is from the vault, the local green vault. Just got a bunch of footage from our 2013 run on Vans Warp Tour. There's been some footage out there, uh, here and there, but this is a collective of what it took us to get there. So a lot of stuff from 2012, the tour, and us goofing off on the bus and coming back. So this is just kind of a snapshot in time of Lions of Zion when um, we were doing Vans Warp Tour. If you want to know how the band started or where the band's at now, that's two different films already out there on YouTube that I'd love for you guys to check out. This one is Lines of Zion, The Warped Journey. So yes, we are the Lions of Zion, the L.O.C. band. How have you heard us one time? All right. We love playing here. We'll play here. About right here. Look at this shit right here. That's what I'm talking about. So if you got a beer, put it up one time for us. Front to back, side to side. Because uh, this is the Lions of Zion, L.O.C. band. Social! Everybody! <laughs> hey, I remember this dude right here from last year. For real. <laughs> At this point, we've been a band for about six years. So when you're seeing a crowd like this, it's like you're seeing some of all that hard work you put in there from playing to nobody at the bar to playing to a big crowd of college kids that are digging and you're playing original music. <laughs> yeah another thing about Spatuno, I think treehouse played right after us or right before us so you can kind of see Matt Link um, back there in the backstage somewhere. So yes, we are the Lions of Zion, the LOZ Band. You can catch us at the LOZBand.com. We have uh, albums back there called Kings. Just came out like two months ago, so uh, go get one. It's only five bucks, 15 tracks on there. So let me just pause and tell you all about Kings. Could have been better than it was. If the original album, Hootie says it best, if the original Kings would have came out as we intended to and as it was recorded the first time, it would be a different story. Keep grinding, keep doing what we can, just to keep on smiling. Keep us living, keep building, don't get up yet, yeah. go, just keep on shining. Something happened where the engineer deleted over half the album. So all but four tracks were tainted. So. We made Kings twice. First time we made it, Hootie was on it the whole time too. The second time through, Hootie left the band for a minute during the recording process so Daniel played bass. By the time Hootie came back to the band, we were not ready to record it again. We didn't want to record it again. By this time it had already been 
a year of recording. So Kings didn't exactly turn out the way we wanted it to, but it was still a great album. So besides all the cool local festivals we were getting to play, this was kind of our typical bar scene gig that we were getting used to. And we were having a good crowd and this is a typical Friday or Saturday night in downtown Greenville. We were having a lot of fun and people were starting to notice. The Orange Peel in Asheville is one of those venues that's on your list. It's on Rolling Stone's top venues to go to in the country. Thank you guys so much. And we got a call for a pretty big gig. Josh's song. J-Rock. You with the Lions? L-O-D. Ah, Lions of Zion. The L-O-D fan. My little cubby love you. I got some huge news for you. Yo, you're going on walk tour. Lions? Woo! So how we got Warp Woo! Tour, we had just gotten management, they had told Woo! us we have a Warp Tour connection. You play your cards right, maybe in a couple years we'll put some work towards that. When y'all are ready, but y'all have to work hard, y'all gotta get there, cause I'm not gonna present you to Kevin, Kevin Lyman, the guy who runs Warp Tour, I'm not gonna send anything to him that I don't feel confident oh, about. So we were doing this, really grinding hard, and he felt like this is the time. What's up? Oh, we got the TV on! I want to see it. Come in. So welcome Everybody take shoes off when you come in. Bus. Um. What's up, guys? Oh, what's up, Dad? Ryan went straight for the top. How are you out there? I'm fit. I'm st the triple stack right yeah. there. That's crazy. This one's open. Okay. Nice. Hey, you want to see something hilarious? Let's let Wes have this one. <laughs> no, make Wes have that one down there. It's the worst one. <laughs> 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 what do you want to see in Wawa? <laughs> 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 
Nice. This is awesome, dude. <laughs> Super right, so. bus. Sick, man. That's pretty cool, huh? They got two you did a good drive. Oh. You have a good drive. Yeah, it was, it was easy actually. It's good. What's up, Bear? Okay. Sorry. We made it all the way to Asheville. Our management also got us a beer sponsorship from Lion's Head. So we had like 33 cases, 32 cases or something. Everybody load in. Let's go. It's time to get on the road again. Viper time Careful. Out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Oh. Right <laughs> a whole mess of rules. Just kidding. Kind of written down. No. Listen, I don't... I don't care what you guys do. Um, I want y'all to have fun. So uh, if I wasn't here, y'all be having fun anyway. So I'm just gonna make sure y'all get safe where we gotta go. But so y'all have fun. But while you're off the rocket ship, you can be rock stars. While you're on the rocket ship, you're my cargo. All right. So I'm the captain. Bear's the co-captain. That's how it's gonna be. All right. Because when I'm driving, I want to make sure you get to your place safe. All right. There are a few rules just for the bus. Just some stuff that we did last year just to make sure that everything goes smooth. Last thing, this this is really important too. This is almost as important as rule number one, which is don't miss bus call. When when we're making long hauls like this and I'm driving through the night in some of these times, when you guys have your lanyards, when I, when I stop and have to go in and use the bathroom or whatever, fill up or anything, if you're getting off the bus, I, don't, I won't know if you're off. The only way I can know is you take your lanyard off and you sit in my seat. That's how I know because I'm not going to check your bunks to see who's asleep and who's in their bunks, right? So if you get off the bus and you got to go take a poo and you don't put your lanyard in my seat, I'm just going to pull out. I'm not going to check to see who's on the bus, all right? So everybody, number one rule, lanyards or you're going to get left. Since we don't have lanyards <laughs> yet, for now, Article of clothing. you need to put something in my seat. <laughs> <laughs> your driver's license, your hat, something, all right? That's it. Not the poo. You guys ready? Why, what about the bus? <laughs> you know cool? Oh, God, I'll roll though. Lanyards, yeah. lanyards or you get left? Lanyards or you get left, because I'm not checking your bumps. Don't miss bus call. You turn red. Real stuff happening up here. Bristol, Tennessee. Yeah, you take <laughs> It's pretty cold. This is West Virginia. Mm -hmm. Still, <laughs> never ending West Virginia. <laughs> All natural. Daisy Cutter. But named that 311 song. Oh, I was wrong. Oh! West Virginia. iPod support. iPod support. What's his dreads? iPod support. I caught that on film. Check one, two, check. But all right, say who got the fault in the fire with my people? When someone say it's love, the other say it's evil. It's a gift from up above, it's so very steeple. When up is enough, it's your one the love. Say who got the fault in the fire with my people? When someone say it's love, the other say it's evil. You never want to see us. You think it's all in our now you choose to receive us. THC, that's a pretty simple description, but the man says, keep it illegal, push the prescription. You think we're over and cheaper. Ha ha ha! You're coming with.
with the trio. Pittsburgh, and don't forget to Rio. Jason Sudeikis is there, whatever. Right. And he like gets a job there. Like, I don't know if they're like making fun of something. I don't know what that was. I know she talks about. I don't know what they're making fun of though either. I'm not even on that inside though. Yeah. And the rest is history. He gave us. Stranded date, the northeast run of the tour. So we jumped in a rocket ship and we went on tour for the first time ever. We'd just been weekend warriors up until this point. We'd gone far places like Florida and back. Ten hour drive to play for three people. So we put in this time but hadn't really seen any cool things. This was the first tour that we were going on as a band. So we were excited. But we did it, we made it through. It was a great run. It was a lot of fun. It, when we got back home, it wasn't too long before we started playing with John Durham. And we had, we were able to do all of us in one lineup together for a little while. Things change and people change, but I'm optimistic to the future. You never know. And being a musician or being in a band, uh, you always have to look forward. You can't look back, but 
Sometimes I feel like when you're far enough away from something, it's okay to look back at a little snapshot. So this was my intention. Just a little snapshot look at an era of the Lions of Zion. And LOZ is still going strong, so you can still come see us today. And who knows what the future holds. Today, I'm taking kindness and I'm 